Hey, Grand Rising, peace, love, harmony, and light. This is um, Chief Kalanago with uh, a brief video, but I just wanted to touch on something, man. And, um, you know, it's, it's something that's been on my mind and it's been in my spirit. And you know me, I tell people I always like to move in the spirit. I always like to, you know, reach out to my ancestors and get confirmation from the great spirit as to how to deal with certain situations especially situations that are very sensitive and um you know situations that concerns the people you know and um i did a video on the whole nipsey situation and um i'm gonna do a video about the whole kodak black situation because to me it's getting out of hand. It really is getting out of hand. And uh, I'm going to say some things in this video. Many people may not agree. And some people may agree. Man, listen to me. It doesn't even matter. The point is, I'm going to speak my mind. And um, this has to stop. At some point, somebody has to be the voice of reasoning. Because you see, you have all these lost Negroes out here. And they continue to perpetuate violence against each other. All right. And they condone the violence. And when are we going to wake up and realize we got to stop, yo. We got to stop. We are our biggest enemies. And every single day we prove that to be true. Now, I'm going to make reference to a few celebrities and i hope they get to hear this video like i truly get i really hope they get to hear this because like i tell people i don't do videos for likes i do videos for love because i love my people and when you love your people you don't want to see your people hurt and you don't want to hurt them as well so i'm gonna make mention of ti T.I. in Atlanta. I'm going to make mention of the game. There's another brother. Um, I've never heard of him, but um, essentially I looked at a, one video and it seemed like he's constantly coming up in videos and he's one of the people addressing Kodak Black, um, Gilly, um, Snoop Dogg, just to name a few. And I'm not into the violence against my own. You feel me? But I'm just going to say a few things. Okay. I get it. I totally get it. In my opinion, based on what I know about Nipsey, Nipsey's a good man. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to be totally honest. Before Nipsey's death, I didn't know who Nipsey was. I had never heard of Nipsey. And I'll tell you why. Because for one, I don't, I don't listen to rap. OK, I don't listen to rap, especially the rap music they have these days. To me, it, it, it's it's a bunch of gibberish. OK, it is not uplifting our people. And um, to me, there's no benefit to sit down around and listen to d d things I don't comprehend. But when I heard of the Nipsey shooting, I did a little investigation on who the brother was the circumstances and even before i did the video i reached out to my ancestors asked them to guide me as to should i do a video about this and they confirmed i should and um i got an interpretation of you know the whole situation you know in terms of nipsey's death all right now with that being said I realized that, you know, from what I researched, Nipsey was a brother that was really loved by the people. And that's a beautiful thing. You see, to me, it's all about energy. It's all about the spirit. And it seems like the brother had, not seems like, I know the brother had a good spirit. The brother loved his people, regardless of what anybody say. I mean, I'm starting to hear about well he was a mason and they, i'm listen whether he was or not to me that that's irrelevant the point is the brother loved his people he stood for his people 
and he wanted to do great things for his people. And to me, that's all that matters. Okay, that's all that matters. But going back to the whole Kodak Black situation, yes, Kodak Black said something that may have been out of pocket. Okay, all right, cool. You know, he said it. Yes, it was insensitive. Yes, to me, it was disrespectful. Yes, he shouldn't have said it. But the brother said it. Okay, I didn't know who Kodak Black was. Honestly, I didn't even know until, again, videos all over the Internet talking about Kodak Black. I looked at a couple of videos and I realized the brother is in the same position as a lot of other lost young men. Okay. He looked like he drank. He looked like he smoked. The man might have been high when he said what he said. Now, I'm not saying that I condone what he said, or I'm not saying that because he drank or he smoked or he was high, that validates or give him an excuse to say what he said. To me, yes, it was totally disrespectful. Granted, it was disrespectful. All right. He did some kind of apology. In my opinion, it wasn't sincere, but he apologized. All right. You know, as a people, we have lost our way, especially when it comes to our culture. All right. We have adopted the ways of the colonizers. We have adopted the ideologies of the colonizers. The majority of our people, man, listen, 99.9% .9 of our people are lost. They are lost. For one, they, they, it's a lack of identity. They don't know who they are. Going around calling themselves black, African, American. They think they're Africans, all type of stuff. But anyway, I've done enough videos on this. But the point I'm trying to make is Kodak Black said something out of pocket and my question to T.I. and Gain and, 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 and Snoop Dogg and Gilly and all the rest, you know, brothers in Florida, in Hollywood, that's threatening Kodak Black. Oh, man, we're going to come get you. This is that. Listen, man. I mean, why? Why? Violent begets violent. Okay. Violence begets violence. Now, what kind of message are you sending to our young men and women? What are you teaching them? That the best way to handle a situation amongst yourselves is to threaten each other by telling each other, well, I'm going to take you out if I'm going to. Uh, uh, come on, man. Come on. Now, where is the hypocrisy in this? I'll tell you exactly where the hypocrisy is at. The reason why I don't listen to y'all music is because y'all continue to promote the demise of each other. Oh, kill a nigga. Oh, blow a nigga head off. Oh, a nigga did this. Put seven barrels in the nigga head and take a nigga out. Y'all promote music and do music that talk about how our women are bitches and hoes. Oh, she's a bitch. Oh, she's a hoe. Oh, give this bitch some money. Oh, let her shake her ass. That's all y'all promote. So let me ask you a question. What is so different from what Kodak Black said opposed to what y'all promote in your music? Hmm? You see, the hypocrisy, man, it, it, it is not bliss. It is not bliss. And I don't know if y'all do it because y'all want to impress people. Man, listen, that's not impressive, bro. You feel me? It's not impressive. We have to come to a point in our life, and I think this is the time now, where we cannot be fighting each other. Our people are damaged, brothers. Our people are damaged. And then you have these lost Negroes, got these videos, getting up to millions of views, and yes, oh, Nipsey should take, be taken, I mean, you know, Kodak Black should be taken out for what he said, and this and that. Man, listen. Just because the brother said something about the man or the man's wife. And again, I'm not condoning what he said. Granted, he was disrespectful. But does that warranty his death? Huh? Does that warranty another brother being taken out? Come on, man. And to me, what's so 
I mean, again, the, the, the display of the hypocrisy. I'm going to expound on that a little bit. You have Zimmerman. Zimmerman killed Trayvon. He's still walking around. Hmm? Where was all the, 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 the gangsters at? Hmm? Where was, where were they at? I didn't see nobody promising to take Zima man out and taking him out. I mean, and I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that's what should be done. Hmm? What happened to all the police officers that's killing our people? Our young men, taking them to jail for no reason. They're stacked up in jail. Hmm? I don't see nobody saying, well, man, listen, this is enough. We're going to get y'all back. I don't see nobody. I don't hear nobody saying that. Hmm? I mean, we have bigger problems than Kodak Black. All right. You have these people spraying chemtrails in the air every single day, poisoning our people. I don't hear nobody is in uproar about that. Hmm? Your foods are being poisoned, GMO. I don't hear nobody in uproar against that. Hmm? Atrazine. Atrazine is being put in food and in water, turning our men into little bitches. Got our young men wearing panties and shit. Mm? They gay. No, you are not gay. It's what's in your food that's making you gay. Okay? Our sisters turning into men and they thinking that's natural. Mm? No, it's, it's if it was natural, then they wouldn't have to force it on you. It would happen naturally. They wouldn't have to put chemicals in your food to make you gay. I don't hear nobody is in opera about that. Hmm? Nobody's in uproar about that. They are forcing vaccinations on our people. Do you know what's in these vaccinations? I don't hear nobody in uproar about that. There are laws right now in Missouri where they could still hang niggas and it's lawful. I don't hear nobody in an uproar about that. The last time they hung a brother in Missouri. Huh? Where's all the gangsters at? How come all, all the niggas right now that want to kill Kodak Black? How come they wasn't in a plane, on a plane, or they drove to Missouri and say, listen, man, nah, this is enough. We shutting everything down. Hmm? I don't hear nobody in an uproar about that. Right now, schools all over the country, you have young men calling themselves gay. They using the same bathroom as your daughter's. To me, that's a that's a that's an invasion of privacy on young sisters who don't condone that kind of behavior. But we in a system that's forcing that on our children. Hmm? I don't hear nobody in an opera. Where are all the gangsters at? Hmm? Where are all the gangsters at? You have a school system that's teaching our children to be slaves. I don't hear nobody in an opera about that. You have churches on every corner. All right. Pastors are using the people. Keep taking the money every single month. Okay. All across the country, a billion dollars is coming from churches and it's going to the crown. It's going to Rome. And they, they're constantly telling our people about the Jesus that's coming to save them. They know damn well Jesus never existed. I don't hear nobody in an opera about that. But yet still, y'all are supposed to be the role models that our children look up to. Hmm? So do you think that the best way to deal with a situation amongst ourselves is to is by violence? Hmm? Is by violence? Come on, man. And nobody and nobody's saying, you know what? This has to stop. Nobody's reaching out to T.I. Nobody's reaching out to Game. Nobody's reaching out to Gilly. Nobody's reaching out to Snoop. Huh? Come on, man, Tank. Everybody who, who, who came on the video and, you know, no, man, it's not that serious, bro. It's not. Come on. Y'all know about the business. 
Y'all know the, the state of being our people are in. Hence the reason why you guys got DBAs doing business as because you want you know the system. You know that this this the, the, the institution of the birth certificate is slavery, the new form of slavery. Hmm? You know the difference between a debtor and a creditor. Why don't you teach our people those things and show them how to get out of the slavery? But you see, it benefits some people. Hmm? Come on, man, like seriously, enough is enough, man. Enough of the violence. Enough of the violence. Enough. This is ridiculous, man. We, I mean, we are the only people on the planet of this, on the face of this earth. Okay. And, and, and I have put a challenge out there in videos years ago. I tell people, do me a favor. If you could go in any other culture, in any other ethnic group and show me at least five artists that sing songs and call their women bitches. I will give them $10,000. Any other ethnic group, okay? At least five to 10 artists that call their women bitches and call their women hoes. And they have songs that talk about killing their own, murdering their own, blowing the dome off of, off of their own. I will give them $10,000. And guess what? It's been a few years later and nobody could... Nobody could find that out for me. Why? Because we are the only ethnic group on the face of this planet that promote killing each other, that promote the demise of each other, that call our women, all right, the ones who, who brought us here, carried us for nine months to call them bitches and hoes. Now, what justifies you guys in your songs calling other people Mothers and sisters, aunties and cousins, bitches and hoes. But the the woman who made you isn't one. You see the hypocrisy in all this? Come on, we got to stop that. We as a people, we have to stop that. We have to start finding ways to deal with our situations. Once again, yes, the brother was out of pocket. But why didn't you call the brother? Okay, call the brother, pull the brother to the side. Why don't you guys, why didn't you do a video going to the brother and say, brother, you know what, man? Hey, I'm doing a video right here. I know Kodak Black said something he shouldn't have said, but I'm here with my brother Kodak Black. And we are talking it out. We are working it out. Maybe he was high. Maybe he was smoking. Maybe he was drinking. And I reached out to my brother and now everything is good. Why everybody want to kill the brother? But you have a system that's killing us every single day. And not one gangster is putting up a gun. Not one gangster is... See, come on, man. Real gangsters don't say what they're going to do, man. They just do it. And I'm not saying to do to cause the brother harm. Any type of harm. I'm not saying that. All I'm just saying is for, for our real enemies. Okay? Our real enemies. Real gangsters don't say what they're going to do. And that's one thing I honored about my ancestors. You see, they fought. And they didn't publicize what they was going to do. They knew that these invaders came to our land and was taking our shit. And they fought back. They stuck together. Even tribes who had beef, they came together. And that's one thing I realized about Caucasians. And I'm not saying Caucasians are your enemies. I'm not saying Mexicans are your enemies. I'm not saying Arabs are your enemies. I'm not saying Africans are your enemies. But one thing I realize about all these other ethnic groups, they don't publicize what they're going to do. They don't tell everybody their plans. They stick together even if they don't like each other. They don't like each other. But they stick together for the preservation of their race. But we are the only ones. We are the only ones that promote the killing and the demise of each other. So who needs enemies when we have people, our own people, okay, that are promoting that type of behavior? 
We don't need no enemies, man, because we are our biggest enemies. Hmm? Every other ethnic group comes into our country, into our land, into the Americas to live the American dream. But here, the American Aborigine, the people who has been here for, for millions and from time immemorial, we get to live a nightmare in our own land. And you so-called celebrities that people are looking up to, y'all know the truth? Hmm? And y'all keep promoting the, dest the destruction of our people. Y'all keep promoting the distractions. So here you have one little brother who said something stupid. All of a sudden, everybody want to kill him. And that's supposed to impress me. Come on, man. Come on. And then you have all the brothers and sisters promoting that kind of behavior. I'm not going to promote that. I don't condone that. So what are you going to do now? Make me a target because I'm speaking the truth. Come on. We got to chill with the ego, man. We got to chill with, with the ego. Now is the time we have to get into our spiritual, you know, manifestation of ourselves. And get rid of these demons that's in our land, destroying our people. That's what we're supposed to be focused on. Not trying to kill each other. That's what they want. That's what they are promoting. Come on. Do you think the best way to honor Nipsey's death is to kill another brother? Isn't that what he was trying to stop in the first place? Come on. Lauren London, she's going to be okay. She's going to be fine. Okay? She is going to be just fine. And once again, the majority of y'all songs talk about how you know, our women are bitches and hoes. And let's go kill niggas. So, what did Kodak Black do that you don't promote? Hmm? Because it's somebody that you know? Come on. What happened to the women that you don't know that y'all call bitches and hoes? What happened to the brothers that you don't know that one of your songs a brother was listening to and he went and and he went and shot a nigga because he was listening to one of y'all songs in his headphones? Hmm? Who's taking accountability for that? Who is? So come on, T.I. Come on, game. Come on, Snoop. Come on, Tank. Come on, Gilly. Come on, man. And all you other gangsters that want to what go get the brother for what, man? It's time that we stop. We got to stop this, yo. I mean, what separates us? The fact that you have a big house? The fact that you have so-called millions of dollars? That's not even real? You're here promoting the illusion to the people, making them think that this money is real and they have to go kill each other for it when this paper don't mean a damn thing. It has no value. It is not backed by anything. And y'all know this. And that's why y'all become creditors. But y'all teach them to be debtors. Huh? Come on. To me, that's a form of hypocrisy. And those who really know the truth know there's no such thing as there's no such thing as death. Death doesn't exist. It's only a transfer of energy. So when you go kill Kodak Black, did you really kill Kodak Black? Does that make you a gangster? That you took a physical body, put it back into the ground? And it's what the DNA of that of that body is going to go into the trees. And now you're going to eat the fruits in literally you killing your own people that you kill. And then the spirit goes back to the source and manifest into something else. Come on, man. There's no such thing as death. You see, it's the ignorance of our people. Why we are in the state that we're in today. We have lost our way. And it's now to find our way back. So I had to meditate on these videos and reach out to my ancestor. Reach out to my ancestors and ask them to guide me through this video. You feel me? And this is the message that I have for y'all celebrities. Stop. Okay? Stop. Because the system is using y'all. For once, tell the people the truth. Okay? There is no difference between you and me. Like I said. That fake dollar bill, it doesn't mean anything to me. 
because I know it's not real. It's time that our people are educated. It's time that we start loving each other. Tell them the truth. Stop promoting this violence. Okay? Is the music that y'all make and y'all promote that got our people in the state of mind that they're in right now? When the music changed, the vibration and the frequency of the people changed. That's a fact. So if you truly love your people and you truly have respect for Nipsey, if Nipsey was truly your brother and truly your friend, then promote exactly what he stood for. Love, unity, not destruction, not bringing harm to your people. And that's all I got to say. All right. Whether you guys like this video or not, man, it doesn't even matter to me. I'm all about peace. I'm, a, I'm all about love. I'm all about harmony i'm all about my people resurrecting okay honoring our ancestors standing on their shoulders and restoring their legacy every other ethnic group coming to our land and live the american dream but the so-called black man the so-called nigger the so-called negroes we seem to be living the nightmare in our own land and this has to stop okay and y'all celebrities, y'all could make a difference. Unfortunately, you are doing something that's causing harm to the people with the music that you promote and the music that you make. It's time to change. It's time to, to, to start making music about loving each other, building each other, okay? Teaching our women that they're queens, they're gods, they're empresses. Every other song, a woman is a bitch. Every other song, a woman is a hoe. But you want to kill Kodak Black for what he said. To me, that's hip hypocrisy. It is. All right? It's time to love, man. For real. I'm out. Peace.